Tough Fight fans. Welcome to Mr. Mustache MMA News. Today, I want to discuss this Saturday's main event, but before we get into it, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button to continue getting more MMA content by yours truly and to help the channel grow. All right, guys, getting right into it. We got Aaron Blanchfield taking on Man and Furo this Saturday in the main event in the women's flyweight division in a fight that's basically the number one contender fight. You got Manon who's riding like an 11-fight win streak, lost her MMA professional debut and hasn't lost since then she is coming off of her most recent victory over rose namayunas back in september in a fight though that i personally thought she lost i thought rose won rounds two and three but then again fight was close rose didn't really have this sense of urgency she didn't really do enough to make it definitively her fight and man and furo was still doing just enough to clearly outpoint rose in that fight to at least sway the judge's decision and to make it to where you can't even really argue but but nonetheless i had rose winning that fight but since joining the ufc man manon's looked very good strong technical precise good takedown defense phenomenal striking good kickboxing i mean she's looked damn good but going against aaron blanchfield right who is just like the mere opposite of success, who where her only defeat was uh, to Tracy Cortez back in 2019. Man, so, since coming into the UFC too, man, beating extremely formidable opponents like Miranda Maverick, Molly McCann, finishing Jessica Andrade, and her most recent win over Taylor Santos in a fight where she had to do what she had to do to get the victory, but that just shows how good her grappling is. Wasn't looking so good for her on the feet early on in that fight, but she was able to just wear and put that pressure that relentless forward pressure and it was just able to break santos as the fight went on and i think that's going to be the same thing here against Firo. i think that uh blanchfield i think that she's able to mix up her grappling and her striking so well that her striking is able to find the success where she doesn't really because she's not very technical on the feet but she's such a threat in the takedown department She's more like the Bryce Mitchell of the females, right? Like, you know, I just think maybe a little bit more put together than than Bryce when it comes to being able to mix the striking and the grappling. But this girl's pressure is second to none. But going against Furo, man, she's going to have to really go through that fire, break that distance to find her success and to get to reach that grappling and you know, she's going to have to use the grappling and get a hold of Furo and attempt some takedowns and really go into the fire to find that success. And this is going to be a five round fight. So we're going to be able to see how Furo's energy and gas tank and cardio is going to hold up because she definitely seemed to be a little tired against Rose. And that was a three round fight. She got dropped in that fight as well. And I think if Rose, you know, I think if that third round, I think if she used a lot more grappling, Instead of just kind of standing in front of her. Which is where I think Blanchfield will utilize that grappling where Rose didn't in that fight. And I think that's where Blanchfield is just going to find that success. And if Blanchfield doesn't get herself knocked out going in, getting caught going in, I think it's going to be a very long night for Man and Furo. Uh, but nonetheless, I love this fight. Number one contender fight. I think the loser fights Rose. I know Rose says that she wanted to fight the winner. But I think whoever wins this fight holds out for a title shot because this last fight with Grisso and Shevchenko, once that's done and over with, guaranteed shot. You don't want to pull a Joanne Calderwood, right? You don't want to pull a JoJo Wood. If you got that title shot in your hand, you hold on to it. And I think the winner of this fight is the next shoe-in for that title shot, either against Alexa Grasso or Valentina Shevchenko. But there's a lot of interesting things, interesting things going on. But I think if Man and Furo defeats Aaron Blanchfield, goes on, fights for the title, she becomes the champ. Rose, if she goes on and beats Aaron Blanchfield and then eventually gets her shot, I think a rematch against Manon for the belt I think would be a great fight. But then if Man and Furo loses to Aaron Brett, Aaron Blanchfield, then I think another fight against Rose would be I think that would just be good timing as well for that fight as well. I think Blanchfield and Rose would be a good fight, but I just I just think that Rose, with her, yeah, she came off that win against Rebos, but I, I, I was with family. I was at a family party, so I was kind of like half distracted, half drunk, half stoned while I was watching that fight. But I remember thinking like I didn't think that she won that fight, 
I thought Rebos, I thought she was just the aggressor, more so of the aggressor, more of that fight. But I wasn't really like fully there for most of that fight, so I have to rewatch it. But nonetheless, in this matchup, man, I think I think Aaron's gonna be able to mix mix it up very well against Manon. I think that she's gonna be able to use that pressure, use that aggression. I think her cardio is gonna be there, and I think rounds three, four, and five, if she can get there, it's gonna be her fight. But Manon, she's got the technical ability. She's got the takedown defense. She's got the distance control. She's got all those things, the striking. I mean, she has all those things to keep Aaron away from her. It just all depends if she can do it for 25 minutes. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button to continue getting more MMA content by yours truly. Help the channel grow. Um, but that's going to do it for today, guys. I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts. So please don't forget to comment what you guys think is going to happen in this main event. If you guys think Aaron's going to take it. Or if you guys think Manny Fierro is going to take it, love to hear your guys' thoughts. That's going to do it for today, guys. Mr. Mustache, MMA News out. Let's fucking go, fight fans.